What's going on today, you guys? So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a uh, question that I see going around uh, the internet and going around different um, audio forums, and that is, are the KRK Rocket Studio monitors good for mixing rock music? Um, now, if you don't know about KRK, KRK systems started back in about 2003. Um, that's when they began producing their Generation 1 studio monitors. We are currently in the year 2020, and you are looking at the KRK Rocket G4 8s. The G4, of course, stands for Generation 4, and the 8 stands for 8-inch low-frequency driver, which you can see right here. Uh, these G4s are wonderful. Um, they've come a very, very long way since the Generation 1s, just in terms of sound, in terms of you know build quality, just overall design and everything. They're really, really, really solid studio monitors, and uh, and and I I use them for pretty much everything. Um, I work in the sync world, and so I'm I'm constantly producing different types of music, whether it's rock, whether it's hip hop, trap music, uh, indie music, pop. You know, you name it, I've I've done it, <laughs> and uh, and I can say that uh, I think these are really really wonderful um, when it comes to mixing rock music. And I'll tell you why. Um, these these G4s have changed a lot uh, in terms of the low end. I think back then KRK um, was notorious for having a sort of flabby and kind of undefined low end. Um, they've done a lot of things to really, uh, I guess, increase the overall, um, you know, flat frequency response and, uh, and tighten up that low end. I mean, for starters, you have the new Kevlar drivers right here, which sound wonderful. Um, they're really, really tight, really, really, uh, they give you that really deep, tight, narrow bass sound that you need for mixing. You also have the front firing bass ports right here, which are great for, you know, working in untreated rooms. I always say it's it's really easy to work with KRKs just about anywhere because um, you know you 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 don't have to worry about the walls or having an untreated room or anything like that. Um, you don't have to worry about working with a really good acoustician to you know make a great studio to to work in. Um, you can pretty much place these anywhere and they sound great. Um, of course, you do have the DSP driven EQ that's on the back as well, um, and that allows you to fine tune to your room. Now, uh, of course, for rock music, um, you know, you do need that to be able to hear that tight low end, but you also need that good mid-range um, sound because you're working a lot with guitars. Um, and, you know, you look at guys like uh, like Dave Jordan, and if you guys don't know who Dave Jordan is, he, Jordan is uh, he's an American record producer. Uh, he's done, uh, you know, tons of stuff from uh, The Offspring, Social Distortion, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Jane's Addiction, um, the list goes on and on and on. And he is a huge, huge proponent of KRK um, systems monitors for the same reason. You know, you can really use them anywhere. They're very, very versatile. Um, and I think when it comes to that mid-range sound, they they really give you all that you need. Um, you know, to to uh, to mix and, and honestly and uh, and and truthfully, um, which is important when it comes to any set of studio monitors. And of course, the one thing I will say is that the sweet spot is not as wide as some monitors out there, and um, you know, you might not get that high stereo spread that you're looking for uh, if you've used you know something along the lines of like JBL or like the expensive PreSonus monitors. But that's just one downside. Um, so yeah, to answer the question simply, do I think KRK monitors are good for mixing rock music? Absolutely. Uh, I would 100% get a pair of these if I was just solely mixing rock music. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or insights um, into why or why don't, why or why you don't think that uh, KRK studio monitors are good for mixing rock music, please feel free to let me know in the comments. All right, take it easy.